It's a little hot. Yeah. We um, wanted to make sure it was just right. Now, where's uh, our fork? Uh, well, I tell you, well, yeah, they don't need forks. These people all live in a boarding house. <laughs> uh, you know what we do need, though? That's good. Give me, just give me one of those. Okay. Right. Hang on just a second. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me. Looks good. All right. Now, what do you want? A, a breast, leg, wing, up to you. All right. Now, let, now you give me a, 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 sample that and tell me how you feel about this. Tell me if the colonel shouldn't be jealous wherever he may be watching us. Very good. Huh? It's good, isn't it? And you it? know what's different about it? It's soft. It's moist, right. which is the way he designed it uh, before he sold it. And when I asked him why he was so generous with all of this information, you know what he told me? He had just come out of the courts, I think in the state of Ohio, being sued by the people he sold to because he criticized them. Oh, there was. I remember that remember? lawsuit. Yeah. He said the coating tasted like cardboard and the gravy tasted like Af library paper. After he sold it. Yes. Yeah. They he was quite a pop-off. I mean, this guy oh, didn't yes. care about anything. He was a lovely man. He, he had been wow. on our show. Um, and he's dead now. What? Oh, many Decade, years. Many. Nine years, anyway. Um, now, here's... I want, you to, well, I want you to just understand that... Before now, his product was of softer crust. Is this what it you're saying? It was more like skillet fried grandma style. Remember how grandma used right. to make it? It tasted like but that. But they obviously discovered that a lot of people, including myself, like extra crispy, and so they went more crunchier yes. after he left, after they he have, sold the company. It's more contemporary. All right, so this is more what you're consuming there. The old fashioned. Is more like the old fashioned. And if you like it that way, this recipe is for you. Of course, you're not old and enough to remember oh. the old fashioned. <laughs> um, let's do. Is there anybody in the audience with a question? Because we've got a whole bunch of recipes I want to get in here before. Yes, ma'am. That uh, The big uh, bucket in the sky chicken, three cups of self-rising flour, one tablespoon of paprika, two envelopes of Lifton Tomato Cup A soup powder. You saw... You only put one in. Did you put well, two in? we were doing oh, half yeah. a recipe, okay. so... Uh, two packages of Good Seasons uh, Italian dressing mix powder, one tablespoon of salt... Teaspoon. One, I'm teaspoon. sorry, sorry, sorry. One teaspoon of salt... One quarter butter, one uh, quarter pound. pound butter or margarine. And I used to be able to see. All right. And that's you know. in the pan. We put the butter right. margarine in the pan. It's not polite to laugh like that. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Can you remove the skin? Will it taste the thing? Moisten it good in water and then shake it up. You can have skin free. I'm, gl I'm glad you waited. Are you there, caller? Yes, I'm here. Um, I was wondering, a lot of these companies... They add a lot of artificial products and like benzene sulfates and artificial flavors and preservatives. And I assume you probably don't use them. So I was oh, wondering I if any they use. <laughs> and I, I was wondering if any of these things taste differently because you're not using these. Well, chemicals. it could be. I try to derive the same taste, and I do it just like you would. I taste their product, and then I taste it myself, and then I try to customize it so that I add what I think it needs. And I only work with pure food products, no synthetics. Well, that's good. Got a question? Do you have any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yes, ma'am. You want it in. Just take that for me. <laughs> Is it good if you cook it the day before and then reheat it? Yes, you can, as long as you did what we did. Seal it fine in foil after it's cool. Don't put it away hot. And then into your refrigerator, sealed tightly. Bring it out at least an hour or half hour before you put it in the oven, especially if you're in a... Pyrex dish, you don't want the, the oven heat, per the recipe, to crack the dish. But it this works out fine. <laughs> Microwave, too. She's got your microphone. Well, I'm, I'm wired. <laughs> uh, bring the mic, if you don't mind, here. Please, may I say, please bring the mic. Give her this. Take that, take that. Uh, would you mind serving some of the people in the audience? I mean, I'm a bit of a pig here. Uh, here. These are our uh, Donahue hand-made uh, napkins. And uh, so just take that and go to the cheap seats because those people always get, yeah, and go serve some chicken if you don't mind. If you don't, you don't have to. I mean, you're not even in the union. You, you can do that. All right. Can we get one more in before we, uh, let's do, we better get one more in. Reese's. You want to do the Reese's cup now? All right. Now. Go ahead. I have made these up backstage today so that they had a chance to sit but I'm I brought out my mixture and we're going to have a hand camera shot of what it looks like on the monitors you will see when we have melted Hershey bar and make sure it's Hershey's they're the ones that fathered the original re recess and I promised I would never use any other chocolate when I talked to their lawyers 
<laughs> and really. And this is peanut butter, plain peanut butter, which if you put it in a Pyrex cup in a pan of hot water, as you'll see on the monitor, it should be pourable. And now I'm going to just make up a couple of them for you. What we've done, we've taken cupcake liners, like so, and a pair of scissors, and we cut them down to about an inch deep so that they look like the original. You set them in your, in your uh, cupcake wells, and you will make perfect make-alikes. So here we are. We're going to put just about a tablespoon in the bottom, and you can see how they're going to set up in about two or three hours without even refrigeration right away. Whoops. These are homemade. You don't have to worry about drips and spills. We're yeah. not working with computers. Food yeah, this is crazy, but take some of the oh, chicken shots that. in the audience. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at this. Now, Good, isn't it? After this is wild. Reese's and, and Colonel Sanders what chicken. But what a menu. I know. You're hear from the and I got food all over my face here. Okay. All now, right. Now, next. Back, now, we got to concentrate on this. This is important. Yes, please. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right. This is the, the melted peanut butter. The next step over that tablespoon of melted chocolate, which by the way we had some peanut butter in it and you'll see the recipe up on the monitor. We're going to put just about a tablespoonful over the over the mixture there. And when we get that in and it spreads to the point that you can see it, then we will top it off with the remaining chocolate. You just divide it between all of the cups. That's it. There's no powdered sugar in it. I don't care how many recipes you've seen with powdered sugar in it. That's not it. This is just Hershey's chocolate and peanut butter, and it's great. Is that the first slide on this? Now That's the only slide. Eight ounces Hershey milk chocolate bar. Eight ounce Hershey milk chocolate. Melt. And one and a half cups peanut butter, but you're doing two different... Uh... There. Oh, I see. That's all you see, do? Now, this has peanut butter in it which gives you the flavor, the softness, and the texture. See how smooth it is? Just like the real thing. Excuse and then me, but it, what has peanut butter in it? The chocolate, when we melted it. So, in other words, a Hershey bar comes with peanut butter in it? No, we added the peanut <laughs> oh, butter. Oh, we added it. Well, you got to tell them. Did we tell them that? See, you know this. We have one and I'm the only one that doesn't get it, right? <laughs> we put a half a cup of peanut butter in with the chocolate bar and melted it. And the other cup we put in here and, and got it. Half a bunnet, half a cup of peanut butter in with the chocolate bar. Right. That's pretty important. And yes. I don't think that said so on this thing, right? No, you don't have to. People know that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they probably do. Yes, sir. Can you use, do you want to stand so we can hear you and just grab that? Can you use uh, chunky peanut butter as well? Make yeah, chunky sure, inside? if you want to. That won't make any difference. Yeah. Sure. Sure. It's okay with me, you know. Uh, and you don't whatever, even have uh, to cut the paper. Yeah, have you got you any of those to eat? Full. Hang on a minute. Yes, ma'am, you wanted to ask. Um, is this going to have the same amount of calories in it as the original would? Calories? We is took it? those all out before we started. <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's a calorie? <laughs> obviously will. Sure. I mean, uh, you know, if you're going to... Uh, oh, yes. If you're going to have a party, you got to have but a... this one is wet, so... Not a recess. Yes, yeah, so here, if you just want to lift them up... What did she say? A half, a, a half a cup of, pe of like melted that, peanut butter <laughs> goes into one Hershey bar, one eight-ounce Hershey bar, melted. And then the rest of the peanut butter, which is melted, goes on top of that product. A tablespoonful, just enough to cover the chocolate. And now, then more chocolate. I have a question. You you just poured the chocolate into the cups, and then you pour the peanut butter on right well, on top. Well, I let you it don't sit. Have... See, on okay. camera, we're working a little faster. But if you let it sit until, oh, maybe a half hour to let or 20 minutes, let the chocolate start to firm up. Then when you put the peanut butter in, it won't work its way into the bottom chocolate. And then let it sit until the peanut butter firms up a few minutes, and then put the chocolate over it. Well, I'm glad we told them that. Are you there, caller? we got time for a quickie here. Okay, hi there, Gloria. I wanted to ask you, do you know of any dishes from Brazil? No. I, not really. Uh, matter of fact, I do. Uh, <laughs> Seriously. Any dishes this from still, Brazil? Still. You know, it's still the same wacky show you were on 13 years ago. I know. Still, yeah. listen, my How about the Caribbean? Anything... Uh, no, my daughter's potluck for Girl Scouts has to make a dish from Brazil. I know nothing oh, from I Brazil. Oh, I what you mean. You know, and we may I suggest something? What? I would go to the public library and Aww. check with them. I, they're my favorite source. Okay. Catch, uh, what are you serving, uh, Patrick? 
The you got the peanut butter? Did, Reese's. Did we make the... What did you... Sh recess. I'm sorry. Not Reese's. Recess. Just... Wait a minute. Let me have one. Just let me show one before. This one is yours. Here's how they look. Here's how they look when you're finished. Come on. Look at how... Is that fabulous? I'm telling you, you got to make these. Who did I promise this to? We're with Gloria Pitzer, who is the detective recipe, and we'll be back to put together all kinds of things for you in just a moment. To be part of the audience, please send a postcard to Donahue Tickets, care of NBC, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, New York, New York, 10112. Remember, postcards only, please. Hang on a minute. You know what, you know what she stole? White Castle hamburger. <laughs> only, only, but so that we don't get sued and spend the rest of our days in jail. Well, you won't because we won't friends in mine. Right, not, yeah. And these people won't even visit us in prison. I know they won't. <laughs> We'll stay in jail. So what are we calling White Castle? White Castle. Oh, well, good. White? All right. Do your stuff here, uh, All right. Boy. We have a mixture here, and I want to show you the kind of, of sirloin that we use. Ground sirloin. Don't use plain hamburger ground chuck. You want as little fat as possible in it, and believe it or not, this works with them, too, because I try to emulate it as, as closely as theirs is. And I have mixed into that to give it the same quality of meat that they have in theirs, which we can't get in the supermarket. I've used a little canned beef broth and some baby food strained beef. No fat in it. Pure product, absolutely nothing but pure beef. Yeah. And now, when you mix it in... Excuse into me, beef, but this is funny. Don't show them yet. This is funny. What's that? How does she make the buns? <laughs> you don't even know, do you? She cuts the hot dog buns in there. Oh, why didn't you think of this? Well, isn't that a great idea? All right. Um, okay, now we have some work We got there. some going here. You yes. tell me when to turn them? Uh, uh, well, where let's show the recipe here, Brian, while we're working here. Okay, we have well, to give our, you a... Uh, yes. We have a... What do you call it? We have to have a, a turner. And you want me to turn them now? Well, when they look like they're, they're getting done, they're not done yet. <laughs> oh, no. all right. Well, then I'll leave them. There. Okay. All right. Here Give are your minute. white tassel hamburgers. One quarter cup dry minced onion. One quarter cup hot water. One pound uh, ground round. Three ounces a jar strained uh, beef or veal baby food. Yes. And that's Put it all this. in there. Mush it in there like that. And what you have is uh, like a me. meatloaf product. Two thirds can, uh, two thirds cup canned clear beef broth and one package of regular hot dog buns, and right. you know what to do. I don't want anyone to think that this isn't pure beef, and we give it to our children in this country. It's excellent. Yeah, it is. And you can really puree it with them better than you can yourselves. All right. So here's what it will look like. After it's been refrigerated, tightly covered for a couple of hours, it will be like a meatloaf mixture, yet no binders in it, like eggs or anything else. Mm -hmm. And it's pure meat. And you have the... And uh, very is this, low fat. This is an All onion right, now, option, right? You want it to look like theirs? Yeah. You know, how, you know what they do there? You know, to, to get it to to fry evenly? They make holes in it like that. Well, those clever people. And that's in the recipe, too, that's going to be in your transcript. Uh... Uh -huh. Oh, that's right. We do have a transcript. That yeah, all of these I never even thought of that. All of these. Phil, it's your show. That's right, it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do we have to show this again? We don't. They got it, right? You know, but I'm okay. afraid we're going to leave now, a lot of... Now, the water and the onion, we didn't put into the meat because if you watch them when they work at their place, this is what I used was dry minced onion so it would not spoil. It never spoils with the water just until it's soft. Yeah. And it will be... About a tablespoon, we're going to put, like, right there, and then flip over the... Oh, right on top yeah, of it? Yeah, right. Oh, this is just so clever. That? I tell you what, <laughs> Gloria, Gloria, you could have become a millionaire, and you didn't. I know it. You but did. you know what? When we were on your show before and I had that chance, one of my radio people said when I canceled out with them, Gloria, the definition of hell is God giving you everything you thought you wanted all at once. Uh, and that's what you did for us. Oh, well... <laughs> 
Aren't you uh, a woman of uh, <laughs> fine breeding and you, uh, the, the, the things, you know what's important in life, and you didn't want to do it. It would wreck the family, well, wouldn't it? I mean, really, it changed your life anyway. We had reached what we wanted to do. Why did I want to sell it like Debbie Fields did, you know, or a uh, Wally Amos? N none of them are happy with having given up. The colonel they wasn't happy. No, he was miserable. <clears throat> Yeah. That's why he went to court to. Yeah. All right, put some more onion in there. All right, you ready to flip yeah. some more? Mm -hmm. I tell you what, though, I mean, it is tempting. I mean, you, you could you could you do this. You have to put it up high. We got a small office somewhere in the Midwest. We won't have to deal with. It. Excuse me, I'm not doing a good job here. That's all right. Now you're a beginner. Okay. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. In many ways. All right. Um, but practice makes perfect. You'll do this better at home when you practice. So you put it down position. first and then turn yeah, it over. Yeah, and then you turn it over, and that's the general idea. And we're going to get them up on high heat. Okay, and we are going to serve these White Castle hamburgers. Now, see, the, the secret, though, is serve them promptly. You can't let them stand. You can't put them in the refrigerator or let them stand at the counter. It goes from the refrigerator to the pan, yeah. the fire. Okay, I can't wait to have one of these. Okay, I will. Uh, while you do this. Yeah, have I'm, you got any prepared? No, no. This, this is, is why it. we're doing All it. Right. We don't want well, we the same problem uh, sure. these other places have had. All right. Now, oh, I, I got to break. Uh, Gloria, I'm sorry, but we're already, you know, we've been on the air four minutes and I'm 25 minutes behind. Okay. Uh, we will serve these white <coughs> tassel hamburgers. Uh, you've already had the recessed peanut butter cups. Uh, what's the cake? Is that Sara Lee? No, it's Twinkles. Twink oh, twinkles. As hopeless. In, yeah, hopeless we get Hopeless Twinkles. Hopeless Twinkles. All right. Uh, and also, uh, I just want to let him, what's Wednesday's chili? Oh, that's right here. Woo! Yeah. But what'd you steal here? Whose product was it? Wednesday's? Think about it. You know Dave Wednesday. Thomas? Oh, Wendy's. Oh, hey, I'm slower than most people here. Uh, we'll be back with, uh, Wendy's, uh, Wednesday's chili and, uh, and also White Castle, White Tassel hamburgers in just a moment. Look at this. We got the White Castle hamburgers. This is neat. This is so neat. Look at this. I mean, you remember when you... you they, uh, sliders. They call them sliders, didn't yes, they? Yes, they did. Um, oh, I should be... Well, I don't have any family, and so I've got to eat this myself. Too bad. Uh, well, I mean, we've got some more. I mean... Uh, <laughs> There's uh, a gentleman on the end there that will have one right here. I and bet he will. He we'll, will. We'll fill up some more of these, and I'll that's take them. That's my husband. Look. It's your husband? Oh, well, daughter. wait a minute. Now, that's not fair to bring the family in this. You're Mr. Pitzer, are you? Thanks a lot for coming. You could have been loaded, pal. And I mean it. Can you imagine a million people responded? I mean, your house must have been covered with mail. It was. Yeah. Well, and the basement, too. Yeah. But you are such a happily married, well-balanced, uh, drug-free couple, I tell you. I, uh, we are inspired by uh, what you've done here, Gloria. And uh, I am sure that whatever, whenever you decide to retire, that you will... Um, excuse me, I got... Let me just take a phone call here. Okay. Uh, I can't... Excuse me, I'm running right in front of everybody. Are you there, caller? I'm glad you waited. Hi. Hi, Phil. Hi. Um, can we get back to the chicken for a minute? Yeah. Um, I don't know whether... Did, can you, did she bake that chicken or fry it? Uh, 350 for about 40 minutes uh, in the oven or until it, the largest piece you have is tender and the juices run clear, uh -huh. not pink. Okay. And it's the, the meat is milky white. Make sure there's no pinkness to it. You want it thoroughly done but not dry. Okay. Sounds good. Thank now, you. Can I say one more thing? Yeah. I just never would believe in a million years that I would be on the Phil Donahue show. Oh, I'm so glad <laughs> you joined us. Right, so. yes, you won the lottery. I'm going to give you one more. <laughs> okay. So you can switch. Now, where around. is my yeah. microphone? Okay. On the counter? Where? Oh, it's over here. We put it in the Reese cup. <laughs> Yes, you want it. Yes, sir. I've got to get some men in here. Yes, even though it's obviously ineffective, is there, in fact, a copyright law for recipes? Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, through, um, especially mine, through my broadcast and my previously published books, which are out of print now, but you might catch them in No, I think he wonders why the company wouldn't... Oh, the companies yeah. are trademarked. Oh, that's a part of their trademark. You don't dare trespass on... Well, then how do you get away with this? Because I'm doing the same thing Rich Little does with voices. I don't know what they put in their products, and I don't want to know. I know that when you take our ingredients, yeah. and you've just tasted for yourself... This is a this is a White Castle hamburger, I'm telling you. And we come up with a make-alike that is almost on target, if not right there. Uh, you, you're doing the White Castle hamburgers back there? 
Good. Enjoy. We forgot the mustard, pickle, and ketchup. I'm sorry. Well, we, we, that's all right. He has me so confused. Uh, all right, let's go. We got to get. We got to move. Right, or we're going to be move. right into the evening we're news here. We're next into chili. Oh, you want to do chili? All right. Yeah. Wednesday's chili. You are too clever for words. I'll tell you. <clears throat> okay. Oops. What do you do here? That's different. No. We have browned the hamburger, and we've started ahead of time because it takes a while to really get the flavors to blend, and we used uh, the ground round again, right. and the recipe is up there. Now, the secret of this, I want you to know, I'm going to, okay, thanks. You must have your blender in order to take a can of French onion soup, and this will give you about six or eight other ingredients. So I, I got to hold this for you. Through. <laughs> All right. Just let me hold it right here. Go ahead. Okay, let's pour it in, and then you can have the can to show everybody. All right. All right. Okay, Sorry. there. All right, All right, there. Now, we're going to blend it just a couple of seconds until it looks like that. And while your meat is browning, till all the pink color disappears, you pour that over your meat and let it simmer until it's well done, about, oh, five minutes on medium-high. And then you're going to add the remaining ingredients, which will be your chili powder. That's two uh, t uh, teaspoons of brown cumin, one half teaspoon black pepper, a few drops of Tabasco. Right, and be careful about the Tabasco. Don't forget the 21 ounce can of red kidney beans, undrained. That's right. Also, we ask you to write down six ounce can tomato paste. And we know you won't forget the eight ounce can of tomato sauce. That's what happened right. to the uh, French onion? There. Now Was that's that in here, and that went in with the meat. Two that tablespoons of oil. One and a half to two pounds of ground round, ten ounce can of French, not creamy onion soup. There's that thing, and, and this one is tablespoon great. of chili powder. Now, we need a spoon. Somebody has spoon. to taste this. Need a spoon here. <clears throat> All right, this is Wendy's. This is Wendy's. Don't give it. Don't. Okay. Don't say anything. You haven't had anything to eat over here. Oh, poor baby. All right. You pals? You're, you're very close. You got one spoon there. All right. Go get them. Yeah. Um, Gloria, uh, I think, I hope we've done service to this because uh, we don't want to confuse people. If you're missing it, you can write us for the transcript. We are so clever. What's next? Twinkies now, or what are you going to do next? We are moving on to the Big Mac sauce, and this is going to be oh. your... Prima, oh, I get to start oh, in the making yes. of... Oh, thank uh -huh. you. It's very important And I've me. got to go to the refrigerator and this get out the, the finished product. This is the sauce product. they put on the Big Macs. We'll be back in just a moment with Gloria Pitts. <laughs> All right, here's Wednesday's... Uh, well, hurry up, Phil. Here's Wednesday's, uh, what do you call it? Uh, chili. Yes. All right. Come on back with, now. With, uh, with a respectful bow to uh, Dave Thomas, we okay. just... Uh, the, the recipe detective. Incidentally, you're not a... Excuse me, I'm walking in front of the whole show here. You're not in... You're not a chemist. You don't call no. up... You do it by taste, don't you? You right. trial and error. You keep right. trying... Uh, okay. Wow. Here is the sauce that goes on... My very first recipe. McDonald's. Now this is, I want you to make it look like this. Now, where's, yeah. where's our camera's camera over man? here. You're okay. getting good at this, Gloria. Okay. All right, there it is. You now, can make it at home for your own hamburger. I gave you a cup of Miracle Whip in here, and you're going to put about a third cup. Whoops, that's not going to fit in there, well, is it? Well, that's all right. Okay, we'll use this. Else, about yeah. a third cup. Third cup of relish. A right? little bit more. A little bit more. All right. Okay, that's good. All right. And now we're going to use a fourth cup of... Okay, about down to this line. Pour okay. that in there. Uh, French dressing. Yes. Now the orange color. We never want to use the red. Okay. How's that? That's, That's good. Now you need about a tablespoon of sugar. Let's uh, take this. Here. This oh, is sugar. Me. All right. Yeah. Right in there. Tablespoon of sugar. Yes. Yeah, I'm sugar. glad you know the difference between sugar and flour. Well, I can't tell it from the outside of it. All right. Is this a tablespoon? Yeah. Uh, a little bit more. Come on. Give it more. two of them. Give it two of them. Just dump hit, it in. Hit it with two. Just Does it say it two on the... Uh... Net, one tablespoon of sugar, but you're working with a teaspoon. Yes, I am. So now that you mentioned it. All right. Okay. Now a little dry minced onion. Uh, uh, let me... Uh, one cup Miracle Whip salad dressing, one third cup Kraft bottled creamy French dressing. What's this? That's a third of a... Actually, uh, that's you want the third of the whole bottle in there. Oh, of course, they come no, in different third, size bottles. Yes, that's right. right. But it's an eight-ounce bottle, All so right. you're right. The orange, not the red. Right. The orange. Next slide. Mm -hmm. 
one quarter teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon oh, dry minced yeah. onion. We're rolling. Mm. Okay, now stir it up. I will. That's what I'm good and at. see if it looks like the, the other stuff. Oh, this is so interesting. Look at this. Give it a You stir deserve around. a Wednesday. Uh, okay. No, that's the wrong company. Now, this right? was the recipe, that the very first one I ever did when I worked for the newspapers. And uh, they and were astounded. You sent this out. It was the biggest hit they ever thought heard. And it tastes just like the sauce that's on top, that's on the... On a place called McDonald's. That's yes. what they said in the, the right. reader's letter. So we've lifted equally from McDonald's and Wendy's. But after so. I did this for about six weeks for the paper and the editor loved it, I lost my job because I stepped on the toes of the cheesecake people. Uh, Sara Lee did you, did they? Well, we won't say that. All right. But they, for the first time, had bought a so. whole page of advertising in that paper because of our food section, right. which I started. And then I lost my job so. because I took their product. That's a, You were the one person on earth that Sara Lee didn't like. How's that? <laughs> right. Uh, so does. there it is. Have we got it? That's, that's right. That's enough. That's, All right. You want to taste? Good. Anybody want to taste? I'll give you a chance in a moment. All right. Now, do you, what, are we, what are you ready to do next? We're doing we, Twinkies. Twinkies. All right. Twinkles. 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 Oh, twinkles. 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 Now, we did these. You and I together on your show in 81. 13 years ago, all right. Now, oops, we've That's lost right. the top. That's, That's all right. All right. We're, but we're doing it a different way now. All right. We're doing it at a sheet cake style, and I'm going to use this and cut it into bars about the size of a Twinkie, and we're going to put the Twinkie filling on it, which... Let's hope I've got it here. Uh, Twinkies, the filling is made as follows. One half I'm cup butter or margarine. One half cup Crisco, one cup granulated sugar, three quarters cup pet or carnation evaporated milk, one tablespoon of vanilla. The cake, three large eggs, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, one cup whole milk, one half cup butter, one and one half cup sugar. How no, am I doing? You're doing fine. And there's another one, of course. Continuing the cake, one uh, teaspoon of salt, three and a half teaspoons baking powder, two cups all purpose flour. Now, well, what we did, you know what we did? Instead of making the cake from scratch, I took a yellow cake mix today because we didn't have time. Right. And you're going to hold that for me while I put some of the filling. We're going to do it sandwich style because we were in a hurry today. But okay. the way to really do it is to take the, the oval-shaped foil containers in which you bake Okay, we got to run, sweetie. Potatoes. Put, now, you put another cake on top there, right? Right. Okay. Let me just Let's have see. one. Let me just put one down. All right, that's that. that's really that's too fabulous. big. That's a, <laughs> that's, uh, give it well, to I a big person. Because, yeah, that's give me a napkin. Who wants this? You want this? Let me. Th she's younger. Who's All right. Uh, try this. D the just take that big here. job right okay. there. Okay. Give me a bite and tell me if that's not a Twinkie. <laughs> I mean a, a Twinkle. Excuse me. And we'll be back in. Isn't it good? In just a moment. Here's a napkin. For you. Can we say it again and leave it up since the transcript? The transcript, I'm to your husband's first name is? Paul. Paul. These guys are going to make a killing on the transcript. Look at this. Three bucks a piece they're going to get. Transcript, Journal Graphics, 1535 Grand Street, Denver, Colorado, zip is 80203. If you want to call, the area code is 303. The number is 831-9000. <laughs> uh, and we do that. It's, it's, I mean, what do usually do? Show them, Brian, in the back there. What are you serving? What is that you're eating back there? Tw twinkles, tw yeah. Twinkles. All right, here we come with. I assume you're calling this Wednesday. Wednesday's frosty. Yes, Wednesday's uh, frosty. Yeah, not to be confused, of course, with Wendy's. Wednesday. Uh -huh. Go <laughs> get them. Right. Now, we, I have a cup of milk in the blender. Cup of milk, and I'm going to put about a half cup. Now, I'm not going to trust you to do this because you no, don't that's know. that's true. I don't know what I'm just doing. shaking a half cup. You just don't know that. So, how much is that? About a half cup of uh, Nestle's Quick chocolate drink powder. Half cup of Nestle's. And about three cups of the softened vanilla ice cream. You can see how soft this is. We've had it in the refrigerator, not in the freezer, for about an hour. And that's what will give us... Here is Wednesday's Frosty. Now give it the big zap there. Oh, that was good. One cup of milk, one half cup Nestle's quick chocolate drink powder, three cups slightly softened vanilla ice cream. Put the ice cream from the freezer into the refrigerator for an hour. And just zap it like you. Is that it? That's it. Oh, now. that's easy. Oh, no, guess so who wants some of this? Uh, it would be now, really ungracious of me, though. It should be thick enough no. to eat with a spoon. Yes, it, it really should be. Should. Uh, look at this. Uh, go ahead. Uh, there you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. All right. 
Good, huh? Yeah. You want to take care That's of That's Wednesday's there? Frosty. <laughs> All right, what else we got here? Oh, we here, got... Here, uh, you going to take that out there? Yeah. Very good. Okay, you know Molly what? will serve the Wednesday's Frosty to as many people in our audience as we can get to. And our... Um, yeah, what do you got now? We've got Glorio cookies. Glorio cookies, just what we've been looking for here. Now, this is the... <laughs> now, wait a minute. Yeah, I'll take them. All right. Take, okay, take, take, the, take them off. Whoops, there. take the Wait a minute. Off. Here are homemade Glorio cookies. Now, that's double stuff. Oh. See? This is... <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Yeah. And when they hold I, on to this, because just don't we're, lose it. we're running uh, out. Who of wants time. it? You got to catch it. You got to catch it. All right, here it comes. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Go ahead, it's yours. Go. All right, let me. All right. Uh, okay. All right, here's the Glorio cookies. Can we get it on? No, we'll save it for the next. We'll give you the recipe to Glorio cookies in just a moment. Who wants it here? Wait a minute. Oh, oh, excuse me. I didn't. Hey, we haven't been over here. Go ahead. Once again, the transcript shown, Brian, is because uh, that's the only way you're going to get these recipes if you haven't written them down, is at Journal Graphics, 1535 Grand Street, Denver, Colorado. The zip is 80203. Three bucks, three dollars. Uh, the area code is 303-831-9000. Uh, we didn't do the Glorio. Oh, the Glorio. You call them better than sex cookies? I'm telling you. Well, I thought this... You go on the Donahue Show, and there goes the whole neighborhood. You start talking. Uh, that's funny. You like it? Was it good? Uh, Glorio cookies. Here, give them the recipe. Brian. The cookie. 18 ounce package of devil's food cake mix. Just like this. Whoops. Two. Uh, yeah, there's the devil's food cake mix. Take a picture, Brian. Sometime. Uh, there you go. Uh, 18 ounce package of devil's food cake mix. Two eggs plus a, two tablespoons of water. Two tablespoons of cooking oil. One quarter cup of bitter cocoa powder. The filling. One envelope uh, of unflavored gelatin. The cocoa. <laughs> yeah, well, okay. It means unsweetened. Uh, you got me all confused here. One quarter cup cold water. One quarter... Uh, one cup of Crisco. One teaspoon of vanilla. One tablespoon... No, one pound plus one cup of powdered sugar. What? That was for the filling. One pound plus one cup? One pound of powdered sugar plus one cup with the gelatin and the Crisco and everything else, and that's the filling, the double Ooh, stuff. I'll tell you but, what. And they'll roll you out of bed the morning at the, after you're you You're going eat to get about a, a half a teaspoon per, per serving of right. that. Now, really. uh, now, this is what you do. You, now, you know what's the final? Here's the finish. She can make Cracker Jacks. Right? Am I wrong? What do you call them? Quacker. Quacker Jacks. All right, good. Quacker well, that'll Jacks. keep us out of jail. Show them. Please. Uh, show them the tape, Ryan, before we get into oh, the... Oh, yes. Uh, the way we yeah, did it we did, we pre was perfect. Yes, Gloria prepared this. And so, show, look up there. What are you doing, Gloria? We're putting the, the simmered caramel stuff into the popcorn, and we're, we have just added baking soda to it, which you would do if you were making regular popcorn. But we sautéed the peanuts so that when we added them to the oven-warm popcorn, they were the same temperature. And this is what we got. And uh, is there a recipe display for this? We have samples to pass out. Uh, oh, in well, cups. let's try. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me have this. No, oh. wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, the samples Over right there. here? Oh, yes. you got. Oh, you mean they're in a big cup. All right. Hey, here we go. Make Here's samples, list. and we don't have much time left. All right, here we go. Wait a minute. I go over this side. You go, you go up there. This is samples. All right, here we go. Oh, oh. There you go for the cheat seat. Uh, cracker Jacks, one cup of peanuts, two <laughs> sticks of butter or margarine, five cups popcorn, two cups packed brown sugar, one half cup light corn syrup, one half teaspoon of baking soda. Look what the audience did to the filling for the twinkles. <laughs> this is the audience did this. I'll tell you, this is her, your last visit to our program. Oh, Gloria, I can't believe that. <laughs> um, really, she's, you know, she doesn't want to have the pressure anymore. And believe me, she got it the last time. She, are you there, caller? You wanted to ask a brief question. I wanted, I, you know, the recipe are great, but why can't she be sued if I used her why, recipes? I, we ever, hey, I don't know what they put into their products, neither do I want to know. And I'm just trying to have a make-a-like, like the perfume people do with the, the perfumes. That's So you, so, I see, so you don't, you just... Services provided and promotional fees paid by the following.
Tetley round decaffeinated tea bags with 29% more tea per bag. But why is it round? A fresh cat box starts with Johnny Cat Premium Cat Litter with exclusive Green Guard odor control. Ooh, I love my Johnny Cat. Guest accommodations provided by the luxurious Drake Hotel, a Swiss hotel on Park Avenue. Call 1-800-DRAKE-NEW-YORK and ask about our weekend and honeymoon packages starting at $125.